Hello everyone, the Klaus here, and today guys I'm going to review a Megablox Dragon's Miniverse set released in 2011 as part of the Rise of the Protovars uh, wave of models, and well today is going to be Blizzard Glaragon. Quite hard to pronounce, but you can see his name right there, so uh, that's one, that is one of the mid-sized dragons, also known as uh, master dragons, for those who want to know the official terms for these dragons. As you can see, he also came, uh, well, he also comes, excuse me, with uh, dragon riders uh, on his back, and well, we're going to see that uh, on the set itself. As you can see, the box is, well, features, of course, the eggs which pops out, also the drawing of the dragon, his name, informations, logos, and as you can see, it's going to be one of the Alliance dragons, because yes, uh, the Dragon's Universe uh, story is quite simple, there is two sides fighting each other, one side is called the Alliance, and the other side is called the Predators, and both sides features dragons and humans, and well, that's all you need to know. At first, it was just dragons versus humans, but no, uh, in this wave, Rise of the Predators, uh, both sides have both humans and dragons, and that's all you need to know. On the side, the QR code that you can scan with your mobile phone to have some information about the set. On the other side, a close-up shot of the drag Dragon Rider, as you can see right there. And on the back, a, a CGI picture of the model with the Dragon Rider. Once again, a close-up shot of the little guy plus his name, so it's called uh, Seneca, as you can see right here. And finally, the uh, six, well, the, well, all the uh, mid-size, all the Master Dragons released in this wave. As you can see, there is six of them instead of four for the uh, previous waves. So six of them, three per side. So three for the iron side, three for the uh, Predators side. Let's move on quickly to the insertion booklet, which is really an insertion booklet because well, you got five steps to build the dragon, and then on the other side you got the parts list if you have uh, lost or missed or you missing. You are missing a part, and then once again all the six sets. Also notice that as you can see on the original packaging, uh, the head uh, is included into the egg. But for this review, I have of course put off the head of the dragon, and of course put it directly on the dragon itself. But at first, you were supposed to see the head throughout out the uh, clear plastic. And well, let's talk about the egg in a more uh, precise way, like that. So, it's, oh, excuse me guys, uh, it's uh, in fact three new molds. It's all new molds, as you can see, so here we go, the main color is light blue, and then you also have some uh, injections of uh, silver color, and also some uh, um, dark blue color right there. As you can see, you also have different types of textures, some smooth one and some uh, little rusty one, as you can see right there, so it's uh, quite cool. And like I said, it's uh, three new molds because you have obviously the uh, bottom side and the upper side of the egg, like that. But you also got, like I said, the plastic part, which at first featured the dragon's head in this little hole right there. Also notice that the plastic here is not the same quality as the one used for the egg uh, parts. And thanks to the little parts right there, you can easily put the things back on. Anyway, that's all you need to know for the egg. New mold, three parts, uh, and also the fact, excuse me guys, and also the fact uh, that you are supposed to See the head shoot out the egg, which I found uh, pretty cool. You can uh, have a better choice at uh, deciding uh, which one you want to buy because of that. Uh, then let's move on to the figure itself, the Dragon Warrior Seneca. So the only new mold on this figure is the head, as you can see, so a new helmet, which looks at a little uh, quite weird, this kind of little crest on uh, top on the top of his head, but 
uh, you get used to it, I think. Well, personally, I get used to it. For the rest, a new type of color shade with some uh, lighter silver used for the main part of the body. And you can notice that on both arms, three colors are used. So one color per uh, part. So white, light silver, and dark gray. You can, of course, notice also the uh, printed elements like the Dragon Rider insignia and the Alliance logo. Also notice the nice uh, icy blue paint used on the visor, which just looks wonderful. For those who do not know these figures, uh, well, it's quite simple. You can move the legs up to this point and the knees a little well, less than 90 degrees, more like uh, 75 in my opinion. Then you have the arms. Once again, you can move them uh, in the direction you want. The, uh, also, the shoulder turn up to 90 degrees, a little less, and the hands can be turned, the arms, excuse me, can be turned fully. The head can look down, up, and on the sides uh, without any big problems, in fact. And finally, the last articulation, which is quite hard to turn, uh, it's the pelvis part, so if you want, you can turn the uh, pelvis section of the body. But as you can see, because it's quite hard to turn, the, sometimes the legs fall. But if you just don't want to, uh, if you don't move this part, the, of course, the legs will not fall off. Excuse me for a second, guys. I'm going just to put these things back in place. Yeah, I know that. I don't have to do that in the review, but well, as you can see, the review will be pretty quick. So here, here it is, uh, Dragon Rider Seneca for you. Of course, he features uh, all in his bag to put a weapon or a shield, but none of them are included into the set. In the set. And let's move on to uh, Blizzard Glowagon, the dragon itself, which when you put all the parts together, looks like that. So, different things to notice. The first one is that 100% of the parts used on the dragons are new molds. It's all new parts in comparison to the uh, previously uh, released dragons, or well, mid-sized dragons. It's all new. Second point to notice uh, is the color shame. So obviously it's a little uh, white uh, with some little touch of light blue. You also have tons of injection colors, like for example uh, on the wings. It's really looking cool. So. Uh, dark blue, light blue, white, uh, silver and white for the um, head. Uh, as you can see, a little, a little... Excuse me if my voice uh, begins to glitch, guys. So as you can see, uh, right there, a little fade between the white and the blue. Pretty cool. So overall, a great paint job. Uh, tons of wonderful paint effects. And also, the lines are well painted. It's not like a the, uh, the paint goes all over the place. Oh, excuse me for that, guys. Uh, it's not like the paint go goes all over the place. Uh, second thing to notice is that instead of big rotation point, this time, for all the legs articulations, we're going to use ball joints and not just big rotation points. So it's really a step up in the right direction. And for the rest, well, you can notice all the molds are made, as you can see. Stuff like that. And we're going to talk about the articulations later on. Also, you can notice that most of the parts are thinner, smaller than the previously uh, released dragon parts. And it's, I think it looks uh, better because the parts are, uh, are a little edgier with more curves, stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's really looking good. Also, third thing to notice is that, of course, I don't really know, uh, is that this dragon is two-legged because, as you can see, uh, all the previous dragons released were just uh, supposed to stand on all their four legs, and this one, because of the new molds, can just stand on two legs, in fact. So it's pretty cool. And as you can see, we do not have any big uh, uh, connection point on the back to link the weapons. Uh, in fact, we're going to use this little uh, all white here. I'm going to take this little part, put it like that. Here, yeah. takes a little time, and uh, then I just have to take the weapons. 
once again new part as you can see five of them so this one this third one which uh, is used to connect the two parts together and the gun part itself and the lasers which are of course uh, linked through the uh, gun part handles uh, placed to rest to put the feet on and of course you can see two big connection points quite there and I'm going to use this one to put the weapon like that Uh, here we go, and once the weapon is finished now, so I'm just going, I, I, I am excuse me, just going to do a turn around of the model. Then I will talk about the articulations, and then it will be the sum up uh, of this review. Here we go. Uh, and now, well, in terms of articulations, like I said, we, you know have, uh, yes, you, you have no uh, ball joints for the uh, different limbs, which works quite well. This means you can move, of course, up and down, but also on the sides. The same can be said for this part. Also for the head, which can be moved up, down, and on the sides. And the mouth can also be opened like that, as you can see. Uh, then you have the wings, which are mounted on two rotation points, back and forth, and up and down. Finally, got the gun, which, uh, because of this point of connection, cannot be turned on the sides anymore in comparison to the uh, older dragons, but this time it can just move up and down uh, one time, two time, and a third time, like that. So you can only move the thing you want. For example, if you want to put the, the weapon only like that, you can. If you want to put it up, you can also. So, yes. I'm just going now to put the figures on the uh, well on the gun section, if I can say so. Here we go. And yes, I think it will do the, the job. And so, well, let's talk about the, let's do a sum up about this set. So, what's to like, not to like. So, first, uh, the figure itself. Well, uh, personally, my only complaint is that we do not have any guns or, or shields to put on his back. But apart from that, uh, I really like him. Of course, he just got one new mold, but I really like, well, the, the mod itself. And also, I really like this color scheme with the three colors used on the arms and the nice uh, blue IC visor used on the helmet. So really, uh, great figures, good articulations, uh, overall a nice dragon rider, in my opinion. Then you have the dragon itself. So I like the fact that we got, uh, uh, well, just new parts everywhere. It's really cool to have 100% uh, of new parts, so it's quite cool. Um, then you got the pen job, which, like I said, is uh, great because while well, you have many uh, paint, different paint effects like the uh, injected colors, like the fade on the limbs and stuff like that, plus the lines are well painted, it doesn't really go all over the place, it's just uh, a detail, uh, well, it's a precise uh, job, if I can say so, it's a precise work. So, yes, I like uh, the paint job, I think it's, uh, it's, it's really great. The construction is, of course, straightforward, so I'm not going to talk about that uh, any longer. Then you have the uh, articulations, if I can say so, which are quite cool. So, of course, it still lacks of intermediate, uh, of intermediate articulations, like, for example, uh, on the knees or the elbows. But uh, at least now we have uh, ball joints instead of just big rotation points, so it really helps to, for example, Put the models on his two uh, on his two rear legs, or to make the, or to make some uh, better pose. Of course, not that much, but still uh, more than the previous uh, more than on the previous dragons. Uh, and of course, of course, you got the wings which can be moved and the and the weapons and stuff like that, which was quite nice. And in fact, the only other complaint I have about the articulation is the fact that because of this point of connection. We can now just move the weapon on the sides 
and not on the well no in fact yes we can we can't move them on the sides but we can still move them up and down and i would have liked if uh, we still could move them on the side of course move them on the side and uh, last point so um, well, it's the overall design and personally i think the overall design is uh, really uh, great new pa new parts everywhere like i said the parts are mostly uh, thinner than the previous one but they are also edgier with more curves uh, more distinctive elements and i really like that so obviously a great action figure uh, and i a one i can really recommend to you because i think it's a it's really great and for those who want to know, I found uh, those guys on Amazon.fr, but I think they will be released soon in the US in, uh, in traditional uh, toy uh, and shops and stores and stuff like that. So, uh, that said, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. The only thing I have to say is that uh, it's a great action figure, really a nice dragon, tons of new parts, tons of pet effects, really a one that I can advise you to buy because it's a really great one. And that said, Hope you enjoyed and well, see you later for another uh, video review. Bye bye!